senior scientist with the organization Applied Ocean Sciences. She joins me now from San Francisco. Thanks for talking to us. I guess the question is, is this hurting us? Um, that's the big question. Everyone wants to kind of know, is it hurting us? And the answer is, we're still figuring that out. A lot of this plastic is big enough that it's probably passing through our guts um, and not staying in our tissues, um, and it might not be hurting us. But we're finding now that some of it might be small enough that it's actually staying or going through our blood vessels and staying in our tissues. Um, and that might be hurting us um, on a smaller scale. So a lot of those studies are being done right now. Right. We might not really find out how much damage it's actually doing until it's, it's just too late. So, I mean, in the meantime, is there a way to try and avoid ingesting microplastics? There is. Um, bottled water has a lot more plastic in it than um, tap water. So bottled water is bottled in plastic. If you drink water um, that's not in that, you're drinking less. Um, there's a study that came out that uh, tea in plastic tea bags can have billions of nanoplastics every time you boil it. And so if you drink loose leaf tea, you're exposing yourself to a lot less nanoplastics every time you drink tea. So there are a few ways you can really um, expose yourself to less um, every time you brush your teeth, if you use toothpaste that has microbeads in it, you have a potential to get a few of those microbeads actually by um, accidental ingestion, or you're at least putting those microbeads down the drain, and then they could end up in our food chain later. So you can just switch which toothpaste you use, the soaps you use, all those things, so they have less microbeads in them. Right. I mean, microbeads are actually being banned entirely uh, in certain parts of the world. Um, let me ask you, though, because of studies like this, uh, the world is actually more aware of the presence of microplastics. So could it improve, or are we simply just too late, given that you know plastics are now being found in areas where humans have actually barely stepped foot on the planet, including in the Arctic? Absolutely. We are finding them almost everywhere we look for them. I've found them in sediment cores. I've had colleagues find them in... Arctic ice. Um, we found them in the Marianas Trench, the deepest place in the ocean. Um, so in some ways it can feel like we are too late, but I actually don't feel that way. I have been studying microplastics for seven years and the amount of um, interest in it and policy change and technology that has developed in those seven years has been so rapid that I think um, I think there are solutions out there and alternatives out there because the world is opening up to this problem and their eyes are opening to it so quickly. Okay. That I don't think we're too late. I think we're close to too late, but I think we're figuring it out. Well, that's encouraging. Um, but, you know, as we're speaking about what damage it's doing to us, uh, there's also the issue of what it's doing to our oceans and animals there. I mean, you talked about it possibly just passing through our systems without causing much harm. Uh, but we've seen now countless images of marine animals in the area that you specialize in oceans actually ingesting plastics to the point that it chokes them and kills them. How widespread is that damage? It's really widespread. So larger plastic and um, the macro plastic um, really impacts seabirds, marine mammals, and turtles. And um, there's a study that shows that probably every other turtle in the ocean, so 50% of the turtles in the ocean, has ingested plastic at some point in its life. Um, and so we find ingestion or entanglement of those large animals by the large plastic. But this microplastic we are finding in filter feeding shellfish, in corals, in all kinds of animals that eat small particles. And those are the animals at the bottom of our food chain. So that plastic is coming back into our food. Right, okay. Oh, Jennifer, we're gonna have to leave it there. Thanks though so much for, uh, for sharing your uh, expertise with us. We appreciate it.